In this video, I'm going to find the domain of the real valid function f of x, which is equal to the square root of 9 minus x squared. For the second question, I'm going to find the flow value of 6.8 and the flow value of minus 8.1. So I'll start by looking at uh, the first question there, the domain of uh, that uh, given function there. By definition, the domain of a function is the set of values of x for which the function is uh, defined. In this case, we are having a fraction there. So for that uh, function to be defined, the denominator of uh, that function must not be equal to zero. The denominator is not equal to zero if x squared is not equal to nine. So we'll be having there, x is not equal to plus or minus three. But in addition to the denominator there, we are having the square root there. We are looking at a real valid function. For a real valid function, we should have what is under the square root sign there must be greater than zero. So we should be having that 9 minus x squared is greater than zero. And if we go on and solve for x, we would be having that x is greater than minus 3 but less than 3. So in this case, we we'll have that the domain of that given function there is the set where we have x being a real number such that x is greater than minus 3 but less than 3. I will now move on to the next question there, the flow value of 6.8. By definition, the flow value of x is the greatest integer that does not exceed x. So in this case, we are looking at the greatest integer that does not exceed 6.8. That integer is a 6. So we have the flow value of 6.8 is a 6. I now move on to the next question there where we are having the flow value of minus 8.1. For that question I would uh, illustrate it with a number line where we have the integers minus 9, minus 8, minus 7. I will go on and label the value minus 8.1. When you are looking at the flow value of minus 8.1 we are looking for the greatest integer that does not exceed minus 8.1. When you are looking at the number line there, the integers that do not exceed 8.1 are integers to the left of 8.1. So we are looking at integers minus 9, minus 10, and so on. But the greatest of those integers is a minus 9. So we have that the flow value of minus 8.1 is a minus 9. 